Alrighty, oh guys, welcome to episode 14. Let's play walkthrough of Chrono. I was about to say Chrono Cross. Um, Chr Chrono Trigger. Now, um, this place where, where I am is just at the end of the tunnel of where I last left off, and that's because there's nothing in here except a sealed chest, but it's unopenable, and yeah, it's, it's linear, so let's just continue on. All the way through, and we get to talk to this man. The juggler in Mage's Castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Be beware. Okay, so that must be an enemy, and for some reason there's a bat following me. Ooh, and there's more bats. You know, I'm, I'm seriously wondering if Magus is actually a vampire. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so I want to make notes, but, um, nah, whatever. You know, I'll do, I'll make notes later. Okay, so let's, we have to go into Magus' castle, and most likely he is a vampire. This can only be. Wow, it's quite ominous, don't you think? Oh man, it's, whoever does, whoever looks at this and is not afraid is um pretty fearless if you ask me. Magus's castle. Cool. Okay. So we have two paths: one left, one right. It doesn't matter which one you go, but if you go left, you'll fight a boss called Slash and. He'll drop a sword that Carmel can use called the Slasher. And it's only good if, and only if, you did not get charmed with Ay Isla back in 65 million BC and charmed f a monster for the Eon Sword. Or is it Aeon Sword? I can never figure which one in it, which um, pronunciation it is. So, if you haven't charmed a monster for an Eon Sword for Chrono, this will be the best sword you can get so far. So, let's go fight Slash. And somebody here. Haha. <laughs> okay. Load. nothing and a chest a chest mid ether Ooh, okay sounds nice how about you uh want to play not really you're kind of creepy want to play no wow a lot of weird people here anybody else oh oh looks like we're gonna fight somebody Ooh, chest <gasps> Ooh, pretty sword so I'll skip that sword for a second okay so here's going to be the boss so i think it's going to be a boss somewhere around here uh Odd. There should be a boss. So uh, give me a second to figure out how to get him. <laughs> okay, so there should be a lady somewhere. But where? Maybe her. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so seriously. Come on. Wanna play? Yeah, I wanna play. Uh, da, 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 da. But you, nobody. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, they keep saying ha <laughs> ha for some odd reason. Let me just double check that um he has his mass meaning equipped. Okay, good. I'm gonna actually give him uh, the, 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 the hero's medal because I want him to hit for more crits than anything. Okay, this is quite odd. There should be there should have been a woman in that room. Hmm. Maybe I'll talk to him multiple times. Ha 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 ha. Guess not. Okay, you're an idiot, but okay, that's fine. Don't know how to talk. Okay, next room. Wanna play, wanna play, okay, wanna play, wanna play. What you? Uh. Well, there's no other person in here. There should be a, there should have been a woman in here. Well, whatever. You know, okay, we're, we're gonna head back down, back to the front, and. Okay, I thought my audio was gone for some reason. Um. We're going to head back down to the front and take the right path because for some reason we should be able to fight Slash here. Hmm. Don't know why. Okay. Let's talk to them. Our treasure. Ha ha. Want to play? Okay. Weirdos. <gasps> it's king. It's the king. Thought I can't talk to him. How strange. What is it? I'm so confused. Got one. Frog, you're safe. Hmm, I wonder if they're actually the real ones, the real people. Oh, it's already been since the festival. You had me worried sick. Okay, so these are people that we know. Hmm. Eerie. Okay, what the fudge? Where's everybody? Okay. Um. Okay, so I have to tell you guys, I... Wait, why did I say Princess Nadia? Oh, it's the king. 
Now the owl's wrong. Please return to the castle. Mm. Um. Uh. Okay, this is totally out of order. I should have been able to fight. I should have fought Slash and um. And that other person. I can't remember his name, but um. The hell. Maybe this is how it goes. I'm gonna be honest. I've never beaten this game, so I'm hoping this is how it goes. Because otherwise, just one really bad glitch somehow that I skip two bosses. Okay. So, anyways, um, welcome, Glenn, or should I say, Sir Froggy? <laughs> say, looks like you've got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me, the Swordsman, Slash and Flea, the Magician, and uh, whoa, holy moly. You'll have to defeat all 100 of beasts in Magus' castle. Do I really? Okay, so what I can do here is... I can, um... Da -da -da. No, actually, no, I could use Frog and Marl to use um, a combination attack. It should, yeah. Crimson Rain, HP down, Sword Tree? No, okay. Ice Water, I believe. I believe this will hit everybody. This is actually a pretty cool attack. I mean, Ice and Water, I know they're, like, complementary to each other, and... They, um, yeah, they're just complimentary to each other, but they're still pretty good. Well, that's a good experience. And, and uh, tech points. Oh, sweet! Ice, too. Perfect. Okay, so, okay, so it looks like everything's running perfectly. Okay, so, too bad there's no save point there. Alright, then. Alright, so if you, um, don't feel like fighting anybody, stick to the, stick to the edges. Um, because these guys are, are avoidable, even them. And you can make it all the way to slash this way. Okay, there's a few things I have to make mention about slash. All right, so it looks like I'm I've just had to look down both halls. So we'll talk to her. Please help. Relieve of this misery. I totally mispronounced everything. Uh, okay. So the decadents aren't aren't hard to take down. Just um, just auto attack everybody and yeah let's see there we go let's get that out of the way yeah so they're very weak um basic attacks will knock them down pretty easily as you can remember from the defense at xenon bridge or the zenon bridge i can't yeah zenon bridge so yeah you know just keep that in mind one hit will kill them all and we'll try and finish this off okay so um as, we, as slash has two forms he has his first form has 3,200 HP, and he's only thing he's weak against is water, so that's where Frog comes in, but I'm going to keep him around as a healer, really. Um, he'll drop the Sword Slasher, like I've been saying. He only has drops 500 experience and 10 TP, as well as he drops 1,500 gold. Okay, I'll give you... And his... um his This is just going to be his stats right now. This, his next form is um when he picks up his sword, because in the first form, he does not have a sword at the moment. Now, second, his second form will hit much harder than the first one. Just um, keep that in mind. Now, his second form has 5,200 HP. It should not It should still be no problem as long as um, Frog has his ability to heal because he can just keep everybody healed the entire turn. And I, and um, if you do what I did, which, actually, if, if, if you equip Frog with the Rage Band, he will con continuously counterattack while, while he stays the primary healer. Now, unfortunately, I totally forgot to do that, so... Let's just do this the good old-fashioned way. How'd you get past my cadaver pals? Or cadaver pals. Okay, Slash is fairly easy. Although, kind of easy. Eh, depends on you. It's been ages, Sir Slush. Okay, let's, um... Oh, look at that. I can't equip. Okay, so... What you're gonna want to do is take this. Um... Hmm. I think I gave it... No, not Luca. Where'd it go? Third eye. Silver stud. Um... Where's the Rage Band? Banana, blah, 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 blah. Uh. Oh, <gasps> no! Did I give it to What's Your Face? Oh, shoot! I gave it to Ayla! Crap! Oh, okay, so, well, that's out the window. Okay, so if you have the Rage Band, give it to Frog, and if you're dumb like me, you just give it to Ayla. Ugh, darn it, darn, darn, darn. Okay, what I'm going to do with her is I'm going to increase her max HP. Because I don't want her to die very fast. And I'm, I'm going to keep him... No, you know what? Actually, I think she has a... I think there's a second silver stud here. 
Um, I'm totally wrong again. Jeez, what is going wrong? What is going on with me right now? Okay, so anyways, jeez. Oh, Make sure you're healed for this battle. Okay, and to note for all of you, um, the transition between his first his first form and his second his second form, you will not get a chance to heal. So that is why it's important to have yourself um, above 100 HP throughout the entire fight because he'll attack immediately after he transforms. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's get to, let's get started with Slash here. That's Slash, you slimy dolt. Still playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? You'll be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you last time. You'd have fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. Okay, before the battle me starts, I'm going to tell you about his attacks. He has three attacks. Attack, attack, attack. That's... When I say things like that, that's just... Take, that's just what shows up on the stats bar. It'll do 90 physical damage to one person. He has a close range fiery punch. That'll do 50 physical damage to one person. And an energy wave attack. It'll hit for about 60 damage for everybody. Now that's it. That is his first form. And I'm just going to... And I'll tell you about the second form afterwards. So what you're going to want to do is attack, attack, attack. And also, be careful for when you actually do beat him at this time. When you do actually beat him at this time, the last person to hit him will have their MP reduced to zero. Alright? So make sure you keep it. You keep track of how much HP you're knocking off, knocking off of him at the time. Um, because you don't want Frog to be um, knocked off. You don't want Frog to lose all his MP, unless you're quick with the ethers. Okay, so I think I'm at about 2,000 after this. No, I think I'm at 2,000 now, so you should have about 1,200 HP left. Hopefully I don't... Okay, so right now he attacks 90 physical damage. You see. Yeah. Okay, so Frog has a pretty good defense, which will reduce the damage, so that's pretty good. Okay, so... Just keep humbling him, the usual. We can use frog and da, 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 his heal here. Marl and I'm gonna. S oh yeah, that's right. Slash is weak to water. No, I mentioned that already. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep frog from making the last hit. Personally, I don't care if it's Chrono or Marl who, who who run out of MP because it's gonna be it's gonna be easy to um, recover their MP. Let's see, Sword Stream. No, Ice Sword. I don't even know why I used heal again. Oh well. Now I love this attack. It's it's incredibly strong and powerful. My god. Oh, there's a there's a pretty cool um triple tech attack for Luca, Marl, and Chrono. It's when you get um the second the second level of your elemental attacks, which is which will be this, like Ice 2, Lightning 2, and Fire 2. What'll happen is that they will it'll unlock the triple attack for them and it'll be a very basically a very powerful uh, triple elemental attack. Pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, so it's ice two again. Oh yeah, if you're only getting hit by one at a time, go ahead and just keep using slurp. Oh, there's the energy attack. And it's finished. Now let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. Hmm. Guess he didn't choose an MP attack. Strange. Unless I was, um, thinking of the wrong boss. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me. Alright guys, so, as, um, he, his second form has an attack that's very similar to Chrono Slash. And with that, he'll also position himself so he can hit, um, at least two people with the Slash attack. And that attack will deal about 50 to 60 physical damage. When the status bar reads, yes, indeed, he's up. He's going to hit one person for 90 to 100 physical damage. All right, guys. So um, his second slash's second form has um, an ability that is very similar to Chrono's slash. He will actually position himself so he can hit at least two people for 50 to 60 physical damage. Um, when the status bar reads, yes, indeed, he'll hit one person for 90 to 100 physical damage. And he'll close. Uh, he'll, he has a close range attack which um, does 40 to 70 physical damage, somewhere around there, and a leaping sword slash, which does between 120 to 100 physical, 150 physical damage to one person. So he's actually quite a bit stronger. Now, um, you can find him the exact same way as you would his first form. Yeah, so find him, find him the same way as you would in his first form, but, but, 
consider using um um the la 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 haste haste that's it use Marl's haste ability to basically speed things up here and make sure frog keeps using heal he as as long as um Marl is free after she keeps after she casts casts haste on everybody frog will be strictly a healer um chrono and Marl can keep launching their um their blah blah, blah. oh why is it so difficult they, they they can keep launching their um ice strike attack as you can see slash he's still taking he's taking 300 damage all by himself um from chrono's slash attack and if i'm correct then either hopefully ice strike will hit for about 2.2 greater than two times the attack that um oh my god i only hit one person how odd okay i'm gonna attack and uh, chrono there we go will hopefully hit for more damage than chrono's um slash wood by itself so we'll actually see hopefully it makes sense um i think i got a little jumbled up there okay all right so my hp is still pretty high that's decent okay so okay now let's double let's see if ice sword is actually pretty good okay looks like i need to heal though i don't want to get um surprised with with um his his high damage ability okay Oh no, that resistant to He's resistant. He's resistant. Damn it. Okay, whatever, fine. Let's play hardball. We'll use chrono and we'll use um, spin cut. We'll use um where's water? Water and I'll keep her as the healer. Let's see, who needs to be healed? That's kinda lame though, um the water. Wait a minute, he's supposed to be weak to water. Fascinating. Hmm. Well then. Whatever then. Let's just continue beating him down with whatever I have here. With basic attacks. He should go down pretty soon. I mean, um, holy crap. Frog's just hitting like with crits like crazy. I kind of wish Maru was stronger though. It would be, um, I guess it would make things a little bit more easier. Okay. Mm, nothing? Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Let's use ice too. Let's give it a, let's give it a check here. I mean, I, I like testing things out as I as I go into boss battles, and yeah, actually, I just like testing things out when I get into boss battles, like seeing what works, what doesn't, um, seeing if there's um, a non-established rule for fighting. So it looks like Slash is completely immune to magical abilities or magical attacks, and that, my friend, was his um, leap attack, which actually didn't hit for as hard as it probably should have. So that's always good. 120. That means um. I think I'm over leveled here, so yeah, I'm, um, really good. That's all I have to say. Yeah, all right. And well, looks like there's nothing else except to just, I guess, speed through this a little bit. So yeah, can do that. All right, looks like I finished it. So I got 500 experience, 10 tech points, and 1,500 gold. Uh, unbelievable, but falling in the line of duty for mages. Leaves me with few regrets. Wow. He went out in a flashy style. So, let's go pick up the slasher. Go here and take a quick save. Um, use shelter. Especially since um, you'll probably have used up a whole lot of um, MP while you're fighting here. And let's equip it. If you don't already have the Eon Sword, then go ahead and equip, equip slasher. Next up, we're going to go right back to the beginning. And do what you did to avoid these guys if you don't want to um, power through them. All right, guys, so um, there is a chest here, which you can access by talking to this kid in the bottom. And you say yes, and you will we'll get into a battle. So, yeah, um, not really worth what. Ah, <sighs> boring. I want to fight Magus so badly here. Okay, so you'll get a barrier here. Now, is it an item? Is it an item? Or <laughs> is it an item? Or is it, a, is it a piece of equipment? I can't for the life of me remember. Uh... You know what? Much e probably much easier to actually find it in the item section here. Let's organize and let's see if I can see it here. I'm pretty prone to um to run going past things when especially when I don't know exactly what it is. And I believe I just went past it. Ah, here it is. Okay. Cuts magic hits by a quarter. By a third. Okay. Cuts magic hits by a third. I'm 
Um, oh, high wind's not so clear like that. But, I don't understand, is it an item, or is it... Okay, I guess I'm gonna assume it's just an item then. Okay, so that'd be good against Magus, because Magus has a... It's a very... It's a, it's a real pain in the butt, um, sorcerer. Princess Nadia. I was wrong. Please return to the castle. Oh, yeah, you... Um, as my... As roadkill, my dear. So basically, um, you have to talk to anybody you see here. And... Yeah, talk to everybody and finish... Easily finish these battles with AoE attacks. Now, as you can see, um... Hench is, is, um, will absorb the water, so do be careful with that. And he also has this AoE attack. It'll hit everybody. And see, actually, see if it's strong. Nope. So just smash him down with basic attacks. Easy peasy. And make sure before you fight the boss, you're healed up. He can be a uh, real pain. So now we have two more people to talk to. Prince Queen Lean, I think. Okay, same as usual, um, have Frog and Marl use their, use an AoE attack to wipe out the other bosses, or the, wipe out the other, um, enemies, and have Chrono use his, where is it, spin cut on the last, on the remaining guy, that should, um, kill him one hit. Here we go. Now if the next, if the next one is basically the same thing, I'm just gonna cut it out, cause, yeah, redundant battles, not very cool. Random person. Okay, this would be Chrono's mom. Yeah, okay, it's getting cut out. Okay, so what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna fight this guy here. Um, what's his name? I think his name is Fate. Frog? Ah, the magician. Flea, I presume. Um, no, he's not the real flea, so just just pummel him, whatever. Do whatever the heck you want. Now, the, last per the person to kill him will lose all their MP, as you just very well seen. This was the one I was actually, this was, was the boss I actually meant who will take your HP of the last person who hits him. So, yeah. Um, wait, that isn't Flea. Where's the real Flea? Mwahaha, here over here. So it turns out the bat himself has been following you since the cave. His Flea. Just been uh, messing around. Giving up, little tadpole. Who is this person? Keep your guard up. This is no ordinary woman. Meet Flea the magician. What the? Hey, I'm a guy. Really? That's a guy? Interesting. That is a guy. <laughs> Male, female, what's the difference? Power is beautiful. And I've got the power. Poor little froggy. You must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned into something so hideous. Dreadful. But since you've brought your new friends over to play, I'll show you all a good time. Alright, look at that. We're floating around time and space itself. Okay, so let's just pause this as she... as it giggles away like that, like a big weirdo, and tell you about her statistics. Now, she has 4,180, or 4,120 HP, weak to nothing, has no strength, absorbs nothing, so perfect. Um, slash dropped his, his slasher. Flea here drops a magic tab, useful for um, magic users. Duh. We'll drop, we'll give you about 500, we'll give you 500 experience, 10 TP, and 1,000 gold. Now, Flea here, being a magician and all, has a lot of attacks, so let's just do this. Prison Beam, it'll damage the entire party, 40 to 50 damage, and will try to blind you. Um, Waltz of the Wind, Chaos, attempts to inflict Chaos on one person, which is basically um, the same thing, uh, it's just Chaos. Um, R Rainbow Storm, inflicts about 50 damage to everyone, and will try to poison you. The Stare, turns one character on the other, inflicts 80 physical damage to everybody. So that's basically, um, the, that, that'll put... Confusion, basically. And so it, that'll be a counter attack for any magical attacks used on. I forgot her name again. Flea. Yeah, Flea. And a weak range attack. And that'll inflict about 40 physical damage to one person and possibly make you fall asleep. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so um, now what you want to not do with Flea here is use magical attacks. The reason being is because. Every magical attack, like I said, will will cause it to use its counter ability, which will confuse. Which was it confused? I think it's confused. Yeah, well, it will attempt to confuse you. So keep that in mind. Stick with um Frog and what's her name? Frog and Chronos. Duh, 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 duh. Let's first heal him up. Frog and Chronos. Duh, 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 duh. 
X slash and I guess keep Marl as a as a healer just to make sure that your entire party stays healed because it can happen that um, you you will take a pretty hard hit and yeah you will take a pretty hard hit and you won't be able to react quick enough. Now um, with him, like I said, use that X split or <laughs> X split. Um, use um, haste with Marl, speed everybody up just like in when you're fighting Slash, and have Chrono and Frog use your X Slash only if you don't have triple text available. And if you do have triple text, make sure they're not magical, magically based. Like um, using a triple tech that involves lightning too. Oh shit, he's um. There we go. Okay, so it's a good thing that he. Oh, good man, good man. You see that? You see that? That was fantastic. Looks like um, when he gets he gets status induced or something, he will lose his his haste ability. Quite unfortunate. And it's a good thing he can't hit me. What luck? Okay, this should not. Oh Jesus! Come on. Okay. So it's a crappy thing. Ugh, he lost his um haste because she induced him with the status ability. Um, let's see what else here. Okay, so same thing. If you have the Rage Band equipped, perfect. Oh, he's blinded. It's a good thing I'm using that. Yeah, if you have the Rage Band equipped, go ahead and keep... Well, then it'll be perfect because anytime he counterattacks, she won't counterattack with anything. So that's actually the strategy. Um, use physical attacks the entire time. Use either use Marl or Frog to counter to attack. But in this, in my team formation... Use Marl to heal, Frog, and... Oh, Jesus. Frog and Chrono to use X, X attack. Use their X strike. It'll, it's good. It'll do, it'll do wonders. So yeah, just keep doing that. And you should be able to survive this battle. Just make sure you're staying healed. And if possible, keep haste up at all times. Okay, it looks like he's still confused. It's a good thing he's, he's dumb. He can't hit. But... The only reason he can't hit is because he's blinded so much. Or he's blinded right now. Okay, let's try and get an X-Strike in here before he comes, huh? Oh, jeez, come on, really? Okay, so there's nothing I can do here. Provoke. Um, anything else I can use? Okay, looks like Chrono is poisoned, unfortunately. Oh, I believe I just wasted that. Okay, X-Strike. Okay, well, since you guys are... You guys hopefully... Hopefully, I'll listen to... Whoa, whoa. What the heck was that? Okay, yeah, okay. So, anyways, hopefully you guys listened to what I was saying to you guys about the strategy. And just, yeah, if you need to, you can switch Frog to Heal instead of Marl. And you can continually cast, um... What's it called? Heal. And Marl can just basically use her physical attacks. Not very... It's not very effective, but... Yeah, it, it'll do... It'll do something. So, anyways, I'm just gonna skip to the end of this battle... All right, so we're done here. Um, as you can see, it was pretty easy. Um, normally, they would be pretty hard, but if you're low level, yeah, it would be hard. But just keep up with the strategy, and you'll be perfectly good. So how can this be? Sir Magus. Ah! Oh, just to let you guys know, Magus is uh, worse, than, worse than these two battles combined. They're much harder. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. It's going to be a lot tougher, and I'll show you what you can do to, like, um net some extra tp if you want if you if you want or net some extra experience before you fight mages so um don't worry about eh, i guess yeah go ahead and heal if you want but it's not really if your hp is around 200 250 you should be perfectly fine but i would actually recommend increasing your mp a little bit more like maybe half of what you, what you need because yeah you're gonna be fighting ozzy soon